SanDisk Creator Phone SSD. This one is the one that I used with this iPhone 16 Pro Max in order to record the unboxing video. So I'm going to recover all the videos that I took with the 16 Pro Max. You're using this device, then use the SSD in order to edit the videos directly on the MacBook. Here's the MacBook. So this is what I'm going to do and show you how to recover or transfer all your data from your device directly onto the SSD. So first thing, this is the cable that came with the SSD. Cable in, then the other cable in. Then I'm going to copy, select one, two, three. Then so usually I do save to files, but I see here export unmodified originals. I'm gonna select that. And then it takes me into a window for the file application iCloud Drive go back you will see all your options here on this browse section then this is the SSD the phone SSD the SanDisk then you're going to tap this blue button then right here it is copying all the videos onto the SanDisk SSD so all the videos have been copied one two three and if you want now, you can delete the videos from your device. But I advise that you try to use the videos that you have put on the SSD first while using your laptop. Then after, you can come back and delete if you're sure that you have copied the files without any problems. Open the file application. You're going to see this browse. Then you click on phone SSD. I have six videos here. These are the one that I just copied on the SSD. The other three videos were copied to this SSD after I recorded with a Samsung device. So that's why you have three other videos here. So after doing this, that's it. With this SSD, like I showed you previously, you can record directly on the SSD. If you want to record ProRes, this SSD is going to work. Log. It says I have 1 hour and 11 minutes of ProRes resolution available directly on the SSD. HDR is also an option. So the option to record files, videos directly on ProRes format is possible with this SSD. Okay, now I'm going to connect the SanDisk Creator Phone SSD on this MacBook and recover my videos. So since this SSD is a fast, kind of fast SSD, 1000 megabyte per second reading and 950 writing, it is kind of fast and I can select here Phone SSD. You can see here Phone SSD, all six videos are here. And I'm going to sort by date added. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So these are the last three videos that I just copied from the iPhone. This is the unboxing of the SSD. And as you can see, I can scrub on the video while it is inside the SSD. It doesn't lag, no issues. So this is really ideal in order to make video content or edit the video directly on this SSD. At least it can do that. So this is the second video. While I had three SSDs doing a small comparison. And this was also recorded with the 16 Pro Max.